number one. It's time to bring that over to our back hand hook, or back hand hook, the still back. When you're firing this one, no, move your body, your legs are essentially the same thing as when you fire your cross. If it's not a bit of punching straight, I'm punching across my hand. So I fire my hook, right back to my arm, hook, right back to my arm, and forward. Yes, sir. And so I'm right guys, that one on our lead, hit our lead hook, but to the body. So we bring it on my back, shoulder, to draw our top, kind of bend. So almost right above where my leg is, where my knee leg is, so that shoulder to lead leg. If you fire the hook, when you're firing the hook to the body, make sure your palm is hitting towards you for the hook. You don't want your palm taking down for body. And go! And it's all right, guys. Now, our back hand hooks the body when we're doing this. We're going to, it's not the same way as uh, throwing a jack in the body, the same way we're doing it last week, where we can't point forward when we throw a jack like that. It's the same concept, same movement. Now we can throw our hook and bend right back to my guard. So your back leg is in. Hang on.
and so I really got you know, I double up. You guys have created a brand new and it's a combination you want, but only up. So I mean, it's a full combination you want. You can do head, head, body, head, head, body, and like that. Okay, good. Hey, Dean, doubling up hooks, you can either go to the head or to the body. Sir. So you have freedom of choice, left hand, right hand, head, body, however you want to mix it up, just two different hooks. And dive. All right, guys, so now we're going to work on our 180 lift kick. When we're working on this, we're going to start with just the check. So this is the end part. You're checking to make sure your lead leg checking and your leg goes to the outside a little bit. Your elbows are in tight, right above your head. And you guys can open up fine, but don't have your fingers super wide. Keep it tight together. So I check the kick, right back down. Check the kick, right back down. And go. Yes, sir. And it's time, all right, guys. Now we're gonna uh, add on the back leg ground that sticks. But all right, back leg ground that sticks is through. Check the kick for that, my guard. It's over. It's there. And uh, track down push up position. And about 30 seconds of push up on your own. Let's 
going to that. And hop back up. All right, guys. So we're going to start uh, reviewing how to perform on such a bench move. So we're going to start with our uh, wide right hand. So to perform it correctly, we're going to remember that when the instructor on the top bench will bring it to the position, to shoot the position, and then on uh, go or on defend or on any of those terms, that's when you guys start to defend, essentially. So it'll look like this. I go position, and defend, I go yeah, yeah, I are right back to my guard. And then when the, whenever the instructor says back to position, you go back to position. You're saying you're ready, can't you don't, you're going to go back to position again. And position. Yeah. Let's perform it. And wide right hand. Yeah. 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 Position. Yeah. 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 Position. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And hop out of the clothes on. Yes, All right, guys, first round, we're going to do our clean hand looking head again. So, to my guard, left side forward. Actually, whichever side you normally start from forward. We're going to throw our left hand, the hook, or left hand hook. Right side to my guard. Remember, make sure to close your shoulder, turn it over, and now your head. And go. Yes, sir. Nice, team. Keep that right hand in nice and tight when you hit. There you go.
again, what's in the body? Remember, turn the back shoulder to your knee back and whip the shot. Go! So think one, and then two, and then three. Jab cross, and then jab cross hook. That's it, then back to the jab. And then jab cross, and then jab cross hook. Nice pace, Dean. Hands right back up to the face, nice and strong. Whatever kind of hooks you want to throw.
more rounds. This round, everything, everything stays the same except after those three hooks, add a kick to the end of the you want. And go! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Oh, 
limited about what we might have to do. So I already had the charge stack against me, and then the, the person would draw out a cast and say, okay, well, if you really want to do it, here's the first step, right? Which I gladly took that first step, right? And then when I reported back to them, they were kind of surprised that I took the first step. I think that the person was really thinking they would throw that idea out there, and I would just be like, all right, fine, right? And not do anything. But I did. I did exactly what they said I would need to do first. And then second, and then third, and then fourth, and they kept throwing hoops out at me that I had to continue to jump through. And I can't tell you how many hoops I jumped through before finally the day came that they were like, okay, well, come to the Syracuse area, and you know, you have to have at least three places for you to come look at, and then everything was opened up pretty quickly from there. But it was a good year, year and a half of me jumping through hoops and not stopping whenever they would throw out another exercise that sometimes seemed very silly, but it was a hoop that I had to jump through in order for me to make it happen, right? So glad that it was so good, right? So here we are 20 some years later, and you know, school still going fun. Not quite fun. So 19, next year is our 20th year anniversary, 2002, right? So it's 2022, right? 2002, right? So persistence breaks down resistance. I had to just keep on going and keep going and keep going, right? The day that he didn't want me to leave his chair to open up the school up here. The instructors that I was working for at that time wanted me to take this school over at some point in the future, right? And so I had a couple of different groups of people that really didn't want me coming out this way. But that's not what my dream was. This was what my dream was, right? And so I encourage you, when you have your own dreams, you have your own goals that you're working for, don't let the obstacles get in the way. An obstacle comes up, all that is is just another stepping stone to get you closer to your goal. And that's how you have to look at it. Everybody like yes, not and proud. As a dedicated student of the martial arts. As a dedicated student of the martial arts. I will live by the principles of black belt. I will live by the principles of black belt. Modesty. Modesty. Courtesy. Courtesy. Integrity. Integrity. Self-control. Self-control. Perseverance. Perseverance. And indomitable spirit. And indomitable spirit. What is the goal? Black belt excellence. Sir. Courtesy. Impact martial arts. Awesome. Uh, nice job, Steve. All of you are sweaty.